Hello everyone, I, Sanjana Gulwani, will take you on a fascinating journey into the heart of Dubai's rich culture and beliefs. From its blend of tradition and modernity to the deep-rooted values that shape daily life, we'll explore the tapestry that makes Dubai a truly extraordinary city. Let's begin. Dubai harmoniously blends religious beliefs with a thriving business culture. Islamic principles of fairness, ethics, and trust underpin the business landscape. The city's leaders promote a business-friendly environment, attracting global investments and entrepreneurs. The Dubai International Financial Center offers a platform for international commerce adhering to Islamic finance principles. While Islamic law governs some aspects of business, Dubai remains open to diverse industries, embracing innovation and entrepreneurship. The city's rapid development and infrastructure are a testament to its commitment to economic growth. In Dubai, the coexistence of faith and commerce exemplifies a dynamic and cosmopolitan business hub that bridges East and West. Let's talk about exploring Dubai's historical and cultural roots and discussing how traditional values are adapting to the modern business landscape. Way back in 1833, Dubai had started off as a small settlement by some 800 members of the Bani Yas tribe, who were attracted to the natural harbor created by the creek flowing through Dubai. They turned the area into a small center for fishing and pearling. These people were later joined by Arabian nomads of the Middle East called Bedouins. They too settled near the creek in small houses known as Barsat Barastis. During the 1960s, Dubai's economy was merely dependent on the revenues generated from trade and oil exploration concessions. The history of Dubai development shows that when a major chunk of revenue obtained from oil reserves started to flow in 1969, Dubai started developing rapidly. Vast sums of cash were thrown into the picture and major infrastructure like schools and hospitals started developing swiftly. Over the years, it transformed Dubai into the glam and glitzy hub we know today, as shown in the video ahead. Let's watch the video. Something very special to show you. What? What? Come on, show me. You know what these are? Of course I know. These are pearls. Very good. And where do you think they came from? Well, from a shop, I suppose. Well, that would certainly have been easier. But no. Many years ago, my father, your grandfather, got these from their original home. Where is that? From the oysters where they grew. And he dived way down to the bottom of the sea for them. So, his hands were the field to hold these pearls. In those days, if you wanted something, you had to go and get it. All of our country was like this desert now. If you wanted food, you had to hunt for it. Water, there were no taps. You had to travel for it. And to earn money, your grandpa would set out to sea, diving, diving, and diving again for pearls. It was tiring and dangerous work, but it gave us what we needed to live until the disaster came. Why? What happened? In the early 1930s, people found a way to make pearls rather than dive for them. And suddenly, no one wanted Grandpa's pearls anymore. Life became very tough for him and for thousands of people. So what happened? It was like Allah was watching over our country. Because at the same time as people stopped buying our pearls, a new and very valuable gift was being discovered. I know oil. That's right. Oil explorers came from everywhere in search of oil. And they found it. So everyone's problems were over. Now the country was rich, yes? Ah, but it took more than just money to set us on the path to a better life. 
What do you mean? It needed a man of honor and character to lead us there. You mean Sheikh Zayed, right? I do, of course. He believed that it was people, not dollars, that would make our country great. He could see our future clearly. He saw that the Emirates would be stronger if we all joined together. So along with Sheikh Rashid and the rulers of other states, he formed the United Arab Emirates. And of course, he became the first president as well. He built roads, hospitals, airports, schools. He created opportunities for women, including universities. And only a generation later, just look at us now. in Formula One. Oh, yes. And we learned that Master City will be completely powered by the sun and the wind and no carbon. And we have the world's tallest building. And the palm. And the incredible hotels. And, and the metro. And... Yes, I get it. We have so much to be proud of. But you know, it's not just technology and the new building that say we have come a long way. What else then? What about the treasures in our museums? The art that hangs in our galleries? And the magnificent new Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi? And what about all the places you and your friends have fun? I bet we had more fun than you did when you were nine. Uh-huh. Every generation thinks that. But you know, the more things change and move on, the more we should remember where we have come from. Some of the greatest things were created by nature, not by man. Like this desert? Like this desert, yes. And like these beautiful pearls. Here, put your hands together. It's a time to pass them on to you, as my father did to me. So when you are grown up, they will remind you of the journey that he started and which you are carrying on. Now, get some sleep. Tomorrow, we head for the city. This video was really informative. Now, let's move on. Now let's talk about the significance of Islam in Dubai's culture, impacting business practices, along with tips that can be offered for respectful conduct, establishing trust-based connections with Emirati partners, and incorporating cultural events into networking strategies in a predominantly, uh, in a predominantly Muslim society. Islam plays a central role in shaping Dubai's culture and has a profound influence on its business practices. The core values of trust fairness and respect inherent in Islamic principles form a cornerstone of the corporate environment. These values contribute to stability and act as a magnet for global investors seeking reliable partnerships. When conducting business in this predominantly Muslim society, observing certain cultural norms is crucial. Prioritizing modest dressed dress demonstrates respect for local customs offering polite greetings and acknowledging prayer times and fasting during Ramadan shows sensitivity to religious practices. Establishing trust-based connections with Imarati partners is of paramount importance. Actively participating in cultural events and festivals, engaging in conversations about local traditions and showing genuine interest in the culture all contribute to building meaningful relationships. These collect connections based on mutual respect form a strong foundation for success in Dubai's dynamic business landscape. By embracing and respecting Islamic values that underpin Dubai's culture, businesses can thrive in an environment that highly values integrity, fairness, and trustworthiness. This approach not only enhances one's network strategy, but also fosters long-lasting and mutually beneficial partnerships. 
This is an interview of an expert to shed light on the intersection of faith and commerce. We're talking about Dr. Fatih Mehmet Gul, a prominent physician and healthcare executive, carries a rich blend of clinical and managerial expertise to his role as chief executive officer of Dr. Solomon Faki Hospital. Acknowledged by Forbes as one of the top 50 healthcare leaders, he is a well-respected thought leader, continually championing progress and innovation within the healthcare sector. Dr. Fatih Mehmed Gul's work in founding CSR Middle East reflects a deep commitment to intertwining corporate social responsibility and healthcare sustainability within the fabric of business practices. His vision not only seeks to drive profitability, but also to prioritize the broader well-being of society and the environment. Gul's, Gul's perspective draws from Islamic principles, which emphasize responsible behavior in both personal and business contexts. This includes considerations for customer relationships, employee rights, environmental stewardship, and community engagement. In summary, Dr. Fatih Mehmed Gul's assert assertion of a strong correspondence between Islamic va values, rules, and corporate responsibility principles highlights a harmonious intersection of ethical, social, and environmental considerations within business practices. His efforts through CSR Middle East exemplify a holistic approach towards sustainable development. Rooted in a deep appreciation for the ethical foundations embedded within Islamic teachings. He adds that there is almost a full match between Islamic rules and corporate responsibility principles. Now, let's move on to the conclusion of our presentation. Culture in the UAE today is a result of a long history dating back to ancient times and drawn from various shifting civilizations from nomadic desert tribes to the pearl harvesters along the Arabian Gulf, to the sea of skyscrapers that are the cities of today. The UAE takes pride in its past while looking towards the future by encouraging contemporary practices within the fields of art, business, education, technology, and innovation. This brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day ahead.